Nation, this be your boy Stank, and I'm back at y'all with another video, man. Cowboy Nation, how y'all feeling? How y'all feeling out there, man? Um, if you ask me, man, I'm feeling good, I'm feeling lovely. Um, it seemed like it was forever. You know, them boys coming off a of bye week. I'm excited to see them this week. Um, went a whole week without seeing our boys, and um, I'm excited to see them this week, man. Um. Everybody already know, man, when it's the bye week, you got to watch other teams play. Even though, like, I'm a big fan of football, so I enjoy watching other teams. You know, I, watch, I enjoy watching football, So, but it's nothing like watching your own team. You feel what I'm saying? So I'm excited. But it's a couple of things that I wanted to really get into because um, it's a couple of things that I hear the world, the media, the fans, everybody talking about, basically. And they talk about the trade deadline. And they talk, and mostly... You know, the media and my Cowboys fans out there. I hear a lot of people talking about players, uh, players they feel like we should go out and get. Um, and I, I really got to say, man, I'm really not agreeing with some of the players that they say they feel like we should go out there and get. I'm really not because, man, I, I don't feel like my Cowboys is really in need of that many areas. I don't think we struggle in that many areas as a team. You feel me? We do have struggles, but I don't feel like we struggle in that many areas. Like you got you got players that they mentioned in like um Henry. They mentioned in Derrick Henry saying um they feel like we should go out and get Derrick Henry. I really can't agree with that. I don't feel like we really need Derrick Henry. We already got a true number one running back in TP. First year as the starter. Then you got Rico Dallas behind him. Then you got Hunter Lipke behind him. And you know you got um Deuce. You know I still want to see more of him going forward. But it's like when you mention a player like Derrick Henry and say, man, y'all want the Dallas, when they, the media, you know, some of the fans, they want Derrick Henry. Like what is the odds of us going out and getting a player like Derrick Henry? Like when you got a player like TP, a dynamic running back that can catch and run, he showed that he could average five yards a carry last year. He showed this. You feel what I'm saying? But I understand where people coming from because TP, if I'm not mistaken, haven't had a 100-yard um, game all season. But I understand. But you got to understand, we faced a lot of great run defense. Like, we, we faced a lot of great run defense. So you got to understand, like, things will get better as the season progress. We got to understand this. You just can't. Go out there and give up on your player because they not living up to whatever the the world expected or the fans expected. That don't mean you just give up on your player. It's only six games in. It's only six games in, Cowboy Nation. So we got to calm down, you know, be patient, get TP time. And I feel like this is the week that he going to really, like, make it, make it do what it do. I feel like he going to be great this week in the pass game, in the run game. I feel like he going to probably have over 100 yards. But I don't feel like, like I said, I don't feel like we should go out there and get Derrick Henry. I'm not really with that. I feel like we we straight at the running back position. I feel like all we got to do is just depend on, you know, we, 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 we basically just got, you know, healthy, really. You know, we've been off and on. Our offensive line been like off and on, in and out. You know, I know they've been like two games so far that they all played. But, you know, they working their way in. You feel what I'm saying? Give it time. You feel what I'm saying? So, I don't, I don't think it's necessary to go out there and get um, Big Derrick Henry. And another player I hear a lot of people talking about. They talking about Devontae Adams. That's another uh, player I, I really not, I'm not, I understand a lot of people probably not going to agree with me, but a lot of people will. I don't really think we struggle at receiver. Like, I don't, I, I'm really not with the Devontae Adams rumors. Like, we don't really need him. As of right now, we don't need him. We got a number one receiver in CD that have to get paid after this year. He have to get paid. Then you got my number two, Gallup. I know a lot of people is not satisfied with Gallup right now. A lot of people saying that he need to be traded. They don't want him no more. But honestly, I feel like Gallup still got a lot in the tank. I feel like he's still a true number two receiver. I feel like he's a solid receiver. I understand he had he didn't have the best game versus the Chargers, but you know, 
It happens. Things happen like that. You know, sometimes players have bad games. You feel what I'm saying? Um, so I'm not I'm not ready to give up on Gallup. Then on top of that, you got Brandon Cook, a player that people feel like he's the number two, but I don't know how he's the number two if he don't really receive the targets that Gallup do. Gallup received 10 targets against the Chargers. You feel what I'm saying? So um, like I said, I'm sticking with my number two Gallup. Now we got a great number three and Brandon Cook, and he showed that. He showed how dynamic he is and how valuable he is to this team. And um, I'm looking forward to seeing some more on Brandon Cook. Then behind them boys, behind them three boys, you know, you still got Turpin. You still got Tober. You feel what I'm saying? You still got a lot of different dynamic receivers on this team as of right now that can still make plays. Turpin showed that. On that bomb, I think, against the Chargers. He showed that he have what it takes. So why go out there and get a receiver like Devontae Adams to come in and distract what we already have? You got to trust the process, trust what you have as of right now, and make it do what it do. And if you be, if you, if we being real and we being honest, the offense as a whole haven't even got started yet. You feel me? Through six games, we really haven't really seen much of our offense in reality. You feel what I'm saying? Because the defense been just been that good. You feel me? Like the defense causing turnovers. The defense doing doing you no know, doing what it takes to win games. I know a lot of people say they want to see more from the offense. They don't want to just depend on the defense. You know, me, me as well. I want to see more from the offense. But that's why the bye week in the NFL is very, very critical. That's where it come in where Things that your team have been lacking to do or areas your team been struggling at, you get better. So during the offseason, I know, I know they worked on these things. I hope they did. You feel me? Worked on our offensive plays, offense doing, you know, doing things that we can get into the red zone because everybody know in the red zone, the Dallas Cowboys struggle in the red zone. Even though we did a little better versus the Chargers in the red zone, but through six weeks, we still was one of the worst teams in the red zone. So, you know, I feel like the bye week came at the right time. I know during the bye week, we worked on a lot of red zone plays. We And I'm ready to see that on the field. But if you ask me, I feel like um, this team would get better as the season progress. In the second half of the season, I feel like the offense will come along. The defense already solid. I feel like the defense will get better and better. Because you understand, you lose a player like Trayvon Diggs, your starting corner, and you put a player like De'Ron Bland, which is playing tremendous, like the man that's playing lights out. You put him over there, you got you got you know, players like that that work themselves in. You know, you're talking about a second-year player. You feel what I'm saying? But I feel like we got a solid defense, solid offense. I don't think we need – I don't think we need – help nowhere besides like linebacker. That's the only area I feel like we really need help at. And not because talent. I think it's more so of depth. I feel like we need more depth at linebacker. You know, I know we got Rashawn Evans. We brought we, we just signed him. Um I'm looking to seeing him on the field. You know we got Bell, you got Michael, you got um Clark and Bell and the speaker about linebackers, Bell play lights out. Versus the Chargers, man. The man ball. So, uh, I want to see more of him at that middle linebacker. You know, we as we all know, Van Der Edge is out. So, i like to see if we go out and do something or make a trade. Um, A position I would like to trade for is linebacker. Not running back or receiver or corner. I don't feel like we need corner. I hear a lot of people saying that as well. I hear people saying we need a corner. Or we need another. You no. Know, I don't feel like we need another corner. We have we have a lot of depth at corner. We got Bland. We got Jordan Lewis. We got Gilmore. You got Nation Wright. You got Thomas. You know, you got safeties. We have safeties on our team that could come down and cover. You feel me? Um, you got Noah from the Dolphins. You feel me? You got Israel. You feel me? We got a lot of talent in the secondary. So when people mention and say we need players at corner, like Nah, I don't think that's one of the areas that we really lack. Like I said, you got safeties like you got safety lights Curse and Donovan Wilson that stays in the box that can cover. You know, Curse showed that Curse is really he don't get credit a lot of credit for it, but Curse can very he could cover very very good, man. Curse helped us a lot 
in the passing game. I mean, he will be he will be in for a very tough tag this week because he'll be seeing Higby. You feel me? A, a good, solid tight end. The Rams got. And leaning towards that way. But, like, honestly, I don't feel like we need to bring in nothing but probably a linebacker bringing depth at linebacker and see what we do. But I feel like this team we have right now is good. I think we can make it do what it do with the team that we have. Um, and I'm excited about the team, like I said before. But... As we all know, we played around this week. Um, back from my bye. Um, and I gotta say, the Ram, this Ram team is a solid team. Don't let nobody tell you different. They I know they three and four, but this is a very, very solid team that can play some football on the offensive side and the defensive side. So I know my boys gonna come in and prepare, but this will not be an easy game for us, man. And um, hey. It's gonna be a, it's gonna be a very good you know tough task for us, man. And I'm I'm looking forward to seeing them boys and how they match up versus the Rams because most if you think about it, most of all the Rams games came down to no more than ten points. So you know they played some very good teams this year too. So it's it's a tough task for us, and um I think we can we can we can, we can pass the test. But um we is home this week, so that's a you know that's a that's a plus. We ten and zero. So far, we on a ten. No, we on a ten game winning streak at home. For people that don't know that, we on a ten game winning streak at home. Two this year, we two and zero at home this year. So that's just a fun fact for y'all, man. We we doing very very good in the last what two years at home. So you know, I'm looking forward to us to keep that 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 you know roller coaster going. But like I said, man, the Rams have a good team. Um, uh, they got some solid receivers. You know, got Tutu, Nikoya, if I'm pronouncing his name wrong right. You got Cooper Cup. I'm looking forward to seeing some of the matchups. Like, I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing Cooper Cup versus Deron Bland. And they like to move Cooper Cup around. So, you'll see him with Gilmore sometime. You'll see him with J. Luke because they move him in the slot as well. So, it's going to be a lot of different matchups that I like to see. You got uh, Nikoya, the other receiver. I don't know if I'm saying his name right. He he move around a lot and he's a great, great receiver. So far, man, a man is, I think he lead the leads in um targets or receptions or something like that. Solid receiver. So we gotta be on, we gotta be on deck, all hands on deck, and them boys gotta be prepared. Cause man, the Rams got a solid receiver core, solid team all around, man. You know, Stafford, solid quarterback. I know he really ain't been really, you know, he ain't really been. He had to throw like six six interceptions so far this year, seven touchdowns. But he can still, you know, he can still get it, you know, get it done. So we got to be up for the task. But um, another matchup I, I'm looking forward to seeing is I'm saying looking forward to seeing our O line versus Donald. We got them big boy. We got Tyler Smith, Tyler Bayadas, um, Zach Martin. Them boys, all all three of them boys gonna have to see a lot of Aaron Donald in that in that middle. You feel me? So I'm looking forward to that matchup. And I feel like we can hold up, man. We got one of the best, win healthy, one of the best O-lines in the league. And I think we're going to do a great job, man, on um, this week. But, man, I'm, I'm happy for my boys to be back, Cowboy Nation, man. Um, I know y'all happy out there. I'm looking forward to another tough game, but I'm looking forward to another dub. I'm looking forward to it, man, and um, I'm looking forward to seeing this team get better and better and better as we go, man. I feel like the offense gonna come along, man. I know a lot of people like, man, we need better offense. Our offense, we they actually showed that versus the Chargers, that man, our offense could be very, very dangerous, man. So I'm looking forward to it, but man, I just wanted to get on here and basically discuss my last final thoughts, basically on the game that's coming up and basically. The trade deadline that everybody talking about, we should go out there and make moves. Go out there and make moves and free agent, bring some of them players or bring a linebacker in, you feel me, from free agent. We ain't spending no money because you got to think about it, man. Some of these picks that we people, teams give up to get certain players is critical because, man, every pick in the draft is critical, man. I'm talking about from the first to seventh round. Is very, very important. So I don't think we had that much of a need to go out there and trade a player or even trade a pick 
to a team. Like, I don't think we really in that position to even have to do that. Um, so I say go out there, get a if we if we need a certain position, which is I feel like we need linebacker, go out there and get a linebacker out of free agent and see what he do. Depth is better than no depth. Cause we we really low at linebacker. So I think adding depth at linebacker, like I said, we brought Rashawn Evans in. So that's good. Um Bell played lights out, you know, um against the Chargers. Just bring more depth at linebacker. I feel like that's the only position as of right now, bearing injuries, that we really need depth at. And um, just see what happens. If you bring in something, I don't think we need to spend no money, go out there and make no trades. I just feel like we good with the team we have. Let the other teams worry about going to get Derrick Henry. Let the other teams worry about going out there to get Devontae Adams. We don't need him. Feel what I'm saying? But everybody that tuned in, man, I appreciate y'all for tuning in, man. Like I said, this be your boy Stank. Um, I appreciate y'all for tuning in. If you haven't subscribed already to my channel, I advise you to do so now, especially if you're a Dark Heart Cowboys fan, man. For all the haters, y'all, man. Everybody that hate on my Cowboy, fuck you. You feel me? Really don't matter. But hey, Cowboy Nation, we up, baby. This is our week. We finna, we finna, we finna make it do what it do this week versus the Rams. And um, I'm looking forward to more success going through this season, man. I'm looking forward to my boy going to the Super Bowl, but that's on another note, man. But I appreciate y'all for tuning in, man. I'll be back at y'all next week with another video. Appreciate y'all.